I'm going to run for president. I'm going to run for your children and mine. Let's give them the future they deserve. He opposed Donald Trump in 2020, but is his loyalist now. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez becomes third Floridan to join crowded Grand Old Party. America's so-called leaders confuse being loud with actually hating. All Washington wants to do is fight with each other instead of fighting for the people that put them in office. My dad taught me that you get to choose your battles, and I am choosing the biggest one of my life. I'm going to run for president. I'm going to run for your children and mine. Let's give them the future they deserve. It's time to take things into our own hands. It's time to get things started. Who is he? Born and raised in Miami, Suarez has been elected twice as the mayor of the city. 85% and re-elected by 80%. And as I've traveled the United States uh, from states like Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Nevada, what people want is someone to bring them together. Uh, they want to know more. They want to hear more about my track record, about what I've accomplished and what I could do for them and their children. Suarez will be running the election based on his mayorship. No doubt he has been successful enough to curb crime rates during his tenure. Today, our city is a major technology hub and we have the lowest unemployment in America because we chose to embrace innovation. Construction is everywhere. Our city is the future. Like every big city, we have problems with homelessness. We built tools to help fight addiction and mental illness. Now, instead of 6,000 homeless, we have 608, and I'm not finished yet. In Miami, we stopped waiting for Washington to lead. Suarez considers himself a traditionally conservative and generational candidate. Despite this, Suarez is considered an underdog. This Miami governor drew headlines for announcing that he would take his salary through Bitcoin. He also prompted a branded cryptocurrency called Miami Coin. Besides crypto, Suarez aims to make Miami the new Silicon Valley. Things. I think what we have is we're first of all number one in the nation in new tech jobs. We're number one in the nation in tech job migration in the last two quarters. Uh, we've done uh, about uh, over a billion dollars of, of tech closings of venture capital deals in the last eight weeks, which is about an annualized $6 billion, about a 200% increase uh, pre-pandemic. So we have all the momentum. Uh, we've moved about a trillion, $100 billion worth of assets under management companies to the city of Miami in the last 16 months, created over 8,000 jobs at an average salary of over $120,000. Despite being popular in Miami, Suarez came under fire for allegedly helping a company to secure permits for luxurious residential projects. Even though Suarez is loyal to the Republican Party, he went against DeSantis and Donald Trump during the election. He even criticized his party members for forbidding local leaders to enforce mass mandates during COVID-19. It remains to be seen how Suarez is pitching himself as an alternative to Donald Trump in the Grand Ole Party. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.